Hey guys, so we've been talking about discipleship, and we talked about how it's this idea of being a learner, right? And um, learning to, you know, from Jesus and being able to, you know, have this experience. But what are we learning? What is the point? Why are we learning something? What is it that we're supposed to be learning? And whenever you think about it, and you look in through Scripture, there are about five things that I think that you can see that says, oh, this is what discipleship, this is what you should be learning. See, because it says in the Bible that, you know, like, God has given these five ministries, right? They've, he's given a prophet, and the prophet hears the voice of God, right? So this is a person that teaches you how to hear God. He gives a teacher, and a teacher is a person that allows you to, that like, helps you understand how to look at the Word, the Logos, the, the Bible, and be able to get understanding from it. We, we see the evangelist, the, the one that, you know, like helps you understand how to go out and share God's, you know, like message, the good news, the gospel. We see the pastor, the one that brings people in and helps understand, you know, like how, helps reason, helps make a connection with people, live, you know, like we've talked about that. If you look at another video about the, the bosses and the leaders and the sh uh, shepherds, it has a little bit to do with pastors there, that shepherdness, right? That, that person that kind of teaches you and shares with you the love of God and this apostle <clears throat> that kind of shows the governance of God. And so it says that all five of these ministries were given to equip the saints for ministry. So whenever it comes to discipleship, just like Jesus, Jesus equipped the disciples, they equipped them for the ministry that they were going to undertake. And, you know, that's what they were doing. And they had time to practice. They had all this stuff. But Jesus was embedding in them these things, right? And that's what discipleship should end goal be, right? There's a lot of life that happens in the middle of it and a lot of navigation just like Jesus and the disciples. A lot of life, a lot of mistakes, a lot of growing that happens during this time, right? But in the end, it's meant to help you be able to enter into ministry. So whether that be getting more out of the word, hearing God's voice, you know, sharing God's love, right? Or mentoring people and connecting with people, loving on people, right? All of these things are meant to help you build things up. So with how important it is, God has placed all this inside. He's ordained this process of discipleship. Why are we not being discipled? Why are we not discipling others? Right? And so as we look at this more, like I said, we're, this next month is probably going to be heavy with discipleship because it's just stuff that I'm diving into as well. And I just want to encourage you, as we go through this process together, look for somebody. Look for a person to disciple. Look for a person to be discipled by, right? Look for a group of people. Look for people for all of these things as we start to really dive into it. Find what you're looking for. Find what God's calling you to do. Thanks for taking a minute.